Not really some bad. like f- like some designer I camouflage. Could, I, look what it says on it. I think we could look back at some of your wear. Yes, well, thank he you, already Jeff. he already established that. I've already established that. I'm not one to I'm not, I'm not right. one to say. But this is but this absolutely is extraordinary. It's uh, extraordinarily in its bad. hideousness. Well, in fairness, it seems to be multiple shirts. Would you say, Greg? Yes, yeah. it's kind of sort of sewed together. Yeah. It, 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 it shows a, it shows a, a, an ability to, to, to get along, you know? Get out. <laughs> get out. Get, get out. Get Harmony. Harmony. Get out. I know, yeah, I think and that's what your country is going to look like. This is what you've been talking about. That's what your country is going to look like. People mm-hmm. coming together, shirts <laughs> People coming, coming together. together. Just put their piece next to it. It doesn't matter if it matches or not. Just sew it together. No, stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> stop. Uh, all right. Um, okay, do you, want the, do you want the good news? Yes, where's the good news? You've been holding it off. I don't Here we think are. I appreciate your attitude. We've been asking for good news. I don't think you deserve it. Military veteran who lost both of his legs in Vietnam says several employees at Lowe's Hardware Store came to his rescue earlier this month when his old wheelchair broke down. Michael Susanna, he, wore, uh, he uh, wrote in the Staten Island Advocate that on July 7th, his wheelchair fell apart while shopping. The veteran lost his legs while stepping on a landmine in 1971, and the VA has failed to provide him with a new wheelchair over the last two years. For the past two years, he said, I have been waiting to receive a new wheelchair from the VA. In addition, I've been told I'm not entitled to a spare wheelchair. Welcome to government health care. Compassionate, isn't it? Um, He said that he was in his uh, wheelchair at Mariner's uh, Harbor Store for Lowe's, and he said, my uh, chair fell apart. They placed me in another chair while they went to work. They took my wheelchair apart and replaced all the broken parts and told me, we're going to make this chair like new. 45 minutes later, well, it took him 45 minutes. I mean, (laughs) come on. 45 minutes later, um, he said the wheelchair was like new. I kept thanking, and all they kept saying was, it is our honor, sir. I want to thank... Um, I want to thank them for renewing my faith that there are some people who still believe in stepping up to the plate. Is that not incredible? It's great. Great. Great If I had to buy nails or something today or spackle, I'd be buying it at Lowe's. You probably buy a lot of spackle, huh? You're such a (laughs) do-it-yourselfer. I've come in Lowe's all the time. (laughs) They call you Mr. Spackle. Mr. Spackle. That's me. Yeah. I I walk in like, Glenn. Mr. Spackle. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, It's it's crazy. (laughs) Congratulations, uh, Lowe's Hardware. This is what Americans do. They see a problem and they fix it. And the VA, shame on you. Shame on you for doing this to our vets.